Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to be talking a little bit about Salesforce and my opinion on their stock and why I think this is such a strong buy right now and I'm also going to explain a little bit about their business model. So a lot of you might be wondering exactly this, what does Salesforce do? If you haven't worked somewhere that uses Salesforce, it's really confusing um, what they do and I hope to break that down a little bit. So very briefly, uh, it's a cloud computing service and they specialize in customer relation management or CRM, which is also their uh, ticker symbol. And Salesforce services allows businesses to use cloud technology to better connect with customers and potential customers. Here are the six different segments of the Salesforce business model. There's the Sales Cloud, which is a platform for Salesforce automation, Service Cloud, a platform for customer service, the Marketing Cloud, a platform for digital marketing, the Community Cloud, which enables companies to engage directly with a specific group of people, and then the Analytics Cloud, which is an app for uh, its platform and business intelligence and AI. And then there's, uh, there's the Salesforce One platform, which is a cloud platform for developing apps. So Salesforce really nicely does things that Amazon, Microsoft, and Google does, but they do it for a whole lot of companies all over the world. And I just wanted to briefly touch on a few of Salesforce's biggest customers. We have Adidas, and then there's US Bank. And then lastly, I have Amazon Web Services as maybe their biggest customer. And this one really surprised me because I figured that Amazon Web Services wouldn't need Salesforce and they would have all the tools at their disposal that they would need. So this one really kind of surprised me and they have hundreds of more clients that are almost as big as these three I've mentioned. Really all across the US, they have huge clients. Now I want to get into what should be the most exciting thing about the Salesforce stock, which is that they have doubled earnings for the last four years, and they expect to do so uh, this year with flying colors. And also, if you take a look at revenues there, revenue in 2019 was double what it was in 2016. And Salesforce is already a huge, massive company in 2016, so it's just craziness. That they're still able to double earnings uh, from year to year. And I, was, uh, I listened in on the conference call just a couple days ago for Salesforce and they expect to do extremely well um, in 2019 even with the outage they had last month. And now we can see that Salesforce's uh, stock price has increased by 203% in the last five years and they've grown massively in the last five years so I think Salesforce is actually a little bit undervalued right now. And then lastly, I just wanted to touch on a few things in Salesforce's uh, financials. So the 52-week range is 113 to 167. And it may look like the stock price right now at 159 is really on the high side, and it is for the 52-week range. But I'm really I'm not sure if Salesforce is ever going to dip below 130 again uh, with how well they're doing financially right now. So I really do think uh, right now is the time to buy. I am obviously a shareholder in the stock uh, based on what you've heard in the video you could probably tell and then you could see the market cap right there is 123 billion and i could definitely see this being a trillion dollar company in the next 10 to 12 years especially at the rates they have been increasing revenues and earnings at and they're not going to be able to double uh, continuously forever obviously so they will probably have a dividend a small dividend of less than two percent probably starting within the next three or four years. If you have any questions on the video, please do leave me a comment down below. Check out my channel for some other videos I've done on other companies and subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching.